Hello, it's Kaz Jones here and I'm the youth editor at the RSPB and I've got a wonderful little task to do today and that is to introduce the Wild Art 2020 competition winners. So earlier this year we launched the competition which in a nutshell was just asking you guys to create a piece of artwork inspired by nature and boy you have not let us down. The RSBB competition's inbox has been pinging away with the most fantastic pieces of art that you've created at home. I think due to the lockdown people have been home more, they've been inspired by nature, they've just been creating pieces of artwork left, right and centre and sending them in to us. I just wanted to say thank you so much for entering the competition this year and if you're interested and inspired by this year's artwork then we'll be running the competition in 2021 so keep an eye on our website enjoy the winning videos and artwork we've got coming up um, and thank you hi my name is Cara Weston Arnold and I'm the winner of the 13 plus real life category here is my pastel drawing of a fox that likes to visit our farm from nearby woods I drew him from a photograph that I took during quarantine and I'm very happy that I won this competition and I can't wait to create more art with the materials I can buy with my voucher, so thank you. Hi everyone, my name's Connie, I'm 14 and I'm from St. Fields, down in Northern Ireland and I'm the winner of the 13 plus Go Wild category from the RSPB art competition. I made this orangutan called Geoffrey and he is made of air drying clay and painted with acrylics. He took about 25 to 30 hours work overall throughout the course of about a year. And I wanted to make an orangutan, just not because I wanted to enter him in a competition, but because I just love orangutans. I always have done. And then my auntie told me that I should enter him in a competition before I got bored of him or didn't like him. So I did and I won. My name is Catherine Oliver and I'm the winner of the Under 8's Real Life Award. This is the painting that I painted and I painted it because I was learning about turtles at school and I really like turtles. It's one of my favourite animals including flamingos. I found a picture on um on the computer and I liked it so my dad drew it on tracing paper and then um after when he drew it on the tracing paper um I copied it. This is how I made it. I got leaves and um and I I got some leaves, some stones and um when we were painting it um I there was a stone that was really big and I just got all messy <laughs> and my hands were all messy at the end, it was really funny. But also, um, I, well, I kind of collected a snail shell and um, I thought um, that I could um, paint snail shells on my artwork. So I pa painted sna snail shells on my artwork. I'm really proud. Um, of me winning the um, art um, award and also I was shocked and also some surprised and um because I've never won an award before so um and I also felt really happy and thank you so much my name is Michael I'm nine years old and a scholar at Wells Cathedral School can I start by saying that I'm absolutely thrilled by winning this competition and I would like to thank the RSPB, the SWLA and the Wall Galleries for this opportunity. My inspiration came from a sculpture I saw at the RA Summer Exhibition 2019 and I've been planning it ever since. The installation consists of four dramatic and rather dark animal scenes protecting climate change and pollution caused by humans. These subjects cause me great upset and sadness. I feel more children should be involved in projects like these as awareness from a young age is crucial for our vulnerable planet. Thank you. Hello, my name is Matilda. I am the winner of Under Eight Scale Wild category. I have made a bag with bird food grass, one gem and lots of different flowers with watercolour blue for the background. I made this bird because my favourite animals are koalas, horses and birds. When I was doing my schoolwork over lockdown, 
I thought it would be good to um, enter this competition. There was a jar of flowers nearby which gave me the idea to do the collage. I feel very grateful and happy about winning this. And remember, it doesn't matter if you win or don't. It's just the fun that counts.